r slash ask reddit what's the most embarrassing way to die approximately two to four people every year are crushed to death from trying to tip a vending machine to get the snacks out i'm going with that one yeah more people die every year by vending machines than people who die from sharks definitely the way manfred lubitz went out the body of retired German electrician Manfred Lubitz was found in his apartment in Malaga wearing a handmade gadget he called the Orgasmatron. It featured a vibrating mat, massage pads, and electrodes attached to his manhood. Police believe he died as a result of a power surge. Quite the electric way to go out, eh? Did he get to finish? With the surge it's possible. Jesus Christ, man. There's just some things you don't talk about in public. Brody mole rats. Maybe not the most scandalous one, but drowning when you try to do a drunk lakeside piss. During the summer months, a very large percentage of drowned guys are found with their flies undone. Just piss behind a tree, guys. But then how will I be able to drunkenly point to the lake and say, boy, I must have really had to go. The guy who died when he let a horse duck him and for his colon destroyed. 07 ish in Washington state. Mr. Hands. Over there in an umdraw. Fun fact. If it was Mr. Hands. Up until then bestiality wasn't illegal in Washington state. Afterwards the legislature had to do something. Because the kind of people who like getting ducked by horses are gonna worry about the RCW. The dude who wanted to prove Earth is flat. Built a rocket. Launches. Killed himself because his calculations and probably the whole machinery were wrong. Regardless of how bad the design was, or how stupid his reasons, dude still died in a homemade rocket ship, which is cooler than anything most of us will ever do. Either from a covered party or a Tide Pod. Herman Kane has left the chat. Accidentally shooting yourself in the head after trying to be cool with a gun. I see so many careless people with weapons. There was a Darwin Award for a guy who tried to impress a girl by playing Russian roulette with a magazine fed gun. A number of years ago, a HS kid working for a local Dunkin Donuts fell into an open manhole in the dark while taking the trash out back. He fell into a cesspool, passed out from the fumes, and was dead before they were able to figure out where he went and get him out, working the late shift at a minimum wage job and dying because the landlord didn't keep the property safe during maintenance or whatever the duck was going on. Talk about a shitty way to die. Erotic asphyxiation. R.I.P. David Carradine. Choking to death on a dong. It really happened. Google it. Googling choking on a dong didn't find what I wanted but I am okay with the result. On the toilet or in front of an audience. Well. Elvis will be forever remembered for dying on the toilet. The thing about dying on a toilet is that you tend to roll forward and end up with your ass in the air. Everyone imagines Elvis perched on the throne while in reality he probably fell off it and ended bare ass up with a turd hanging out. Stabbed in the ass by a person hiding in a medieval toilet seems pretty bad. Poting the ass in assassin. I heard a story of a man who drove off the freeway and flipped his car and was partially ejected out of the moonroof and was crushed to death as the car rolled on top of him. Thing is the emergency responders found he had a portable DVD player still playing porn and his pants were down around his ankles. It's a stupid thing to do but that clarity only comes post but. The famous inventor Thomas Midgley was bedridden so he tried to invent a bed with pullers and levers to make it an adjustable bed. Instead he got caught in one of the ropes and strangled to death. Actually, a lot of people likely died from Midgley's work. He invented many CFCs and leaded gasoline. The road to hell suicide, manslaughter, and global ecological devastation is paved with good intentions. Really if you're dead you're not about to be embarrassed. Really if someone close to you died by peeing on an electric fence, wouldn't you feel embarrassed for them? Of COVID-19 after claiming it was a hoax. I saw a video where a guy who fell down a freaking waterfall died because he slipped on an orange peel. Then again he was old but man that must have been embarrassing as heck. Edit. He was 82 years old. Shitting yourself to death. In Kenny's defense. He had just heard the loudest brown note in recorded history. Breaking your neck trying to suck your own dong. His mom found him. Balls resting on his lips. 
I saw on 1000 ways to die. A girl got off by eating puke. So she made a guy puke into her mouth. Choked. And died. But did she get off while dying? It would have been quite embarrassing for all of us. From the perspective of other more advanced species in the future. If that Russian guy wouldn't have been skeptical of those signals. Third degree burns from lighting a fart. At an Imagine Dragons concert. Because then you'd be caught dead at one. Man am I the only one who genuinely likes Imagine Dragons? People dying from exertion from jacking off 20 plus times in a row. So. You rush in a public toilet to take a dookie. The pressure has built up so you just quickly sit down without looking in the bowl first and you relax the chocolate starfish. The first big log hits the water with such speed that the water splashes and reaches up to your poop chute. You paid no attention due to the relief of emptying your bowels but it turns out that the last guy forgot to flush and the remnants of his last snack are still floating in the bowl. The liquid containing partially digested peanuts triggered your severe allergy when it hit your bum hole. You rapidly start to swell up but you cannot run for help due to the steady stream of pudding leaving your body. There is nothing left to do but to accept your fate and finish your business like a man. Having your intestine sucked out by the pool drain. Flashbacks to Chuck Palahniuk's guts. Imagine being a co-founder of a conservative political group. Downplaying the risks and impact of the coronavirus. Questing any public health proposals to limit the spread and publicly stating do not force me to wear a mask. It's that simple. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Now imagine your other co-founder dying from the coronavirus. Yup. That's turning point USA. There was a story I read somewhere of an office man showing a batch of new hires their building facilities. So they were up in a tall building. It was a fairly new building with glass windows. And this guy wanted to demonstrate how strong the glass windows were. Because he wanted to look like a cool office mate or some shit. To do this. He made a running approach towards the windows and slammed his body into the glass. It wasn't as strong as he thought. And as the glass shattered and fell apart. His body went through and fell right out of the ducking building and into his death. I can't even begin to imagine how to react if I were to bear witness to that. Is this separate from the guy trying to how strong their shatterproof windows were, only to knock the entire pain out and die on impact, getting crushed by that same pain afterwards? Someone drowned in not only his own shit, but a whole town of people's shit. Too long didn't read, guy drowned in sewage water. A thousand ways to die, lady who has cheap breast implants and ends up with them exploding in her face on a flight. Being trapped in a porto potty that gets tipped over and lands door side down, then suffocating from the nasty toilet water fumes. Stephen King wrote a story about this. Picking up margarita mix and getting run over by a line of shopping carts. Or getting crushed by a falling AC unit. More people die each year from causing vending machines to fall on top of them than die from shark attacks. So there is that lol. To be fair that's a skewed statistic. People encounter vending machines much more frequently than we do sharks. Tweeting how unnecessary masks are and then dying of covid. The guy who invented the segway died after falling off a cliff on his segway. He wasn't the inventor. He was just a major investor from Britain that took over the company. The inventor was Dean Kamen who is still alive. He has also invented the Abbott, the micro shot coke machine, and a water purifier that can apparently run off cow dung. There was this one guy that didn't know what gun to use in Russian roulette, so he used a Glock. While pushing out a shit that got stuck on the way out. Remember that woman who died from drinking too much water to win concert tickets or something on a radio show? That, that is the most embarrassing. Doing something unfathomably stupid for extremely low stakes and in a very public manner. Masturbating on a public toilet. Sometimes men will take Viagra for erectile dysfunction. What people don't know is Viagra when it first came out used to be used for treatment for high blood pressure and heart disease. Sometimes men with already low blood pressure. That didn't know. Take Viagra and they pass out and die from plummeting their blood pressure. Crushed by crate of tampons at Costco. At least clean up would be easy. Dropping dead watching some weird porn and not being able to clear the screen. Being got by a buffalo while trying to take a picture because you are a dumbass you doesn't follow rules. 
bit by a blimp. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.